What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today, we're going to talk about a modern funk groove. Yes, I think you may like this one. I really think so. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but ah, I just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload every Monday and every Thursday, and it's normal things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the comments, man. Seriously, just sharing my videos. My goodness, man, just the love that I continue to get. Ah, you gotta love it. Ah. Also, I will be testing these out very soon. I just got these in the mail and uh, yes, we're gonna do some comparison videos with the steer heads and these synthetic heads, man. I cannot wait. I've been hearing great things about these heads. So yes, it's about to be fun to check this stuff out. But yeah, that video is coming very soon. So today I wanted to break down a very modern funk groove. A friend of mine saw me do it at a gig and said, hey, you need to show that one to the peoples. You need to show it to the peoples. And I wanted to keep this one for myself, but it is kind of fun. It's, you know, a little bit, you know, modern, different takes on different pieces, very melodic. I normally do it on three drums. You can try to do it on two. It's not really gonna sound the same. You're gonna be missing some pieces, but hey, I've seen it work. But yeah, let me uh, play it for you and then we will break it down. Oh yeah. So yeah, let me break it down for you guys. If you notice, this rhythm is super melodic. It's very playful, a lot of ghosting, a lot of slaps, a lot of accenting, but man, when you start grooving with it, man, and playing with a drummer, and man, ooh, man, oh man. But yeah, this pattern really grooves, man. It's very groovy, I love it, I enjoy it, it's very fun. I don't know, it's just something different than the norm. But to help kind of start this pattern, I started in an awkward place and then after later on in the video, you'll see where I'm counting it. But this is just the easiest way I found to learn this pattern and kind of like, you know, grow from there. So what I do is with my non-dominant hand, I do a slap on the conga and then with my dominant hand on my dominant side, I do two opens on that tumba. So it's gonna sound like this. After doing those two opens, since my non-dominant hand is already on the conga, it's gonna actually help me start maneuver to my non-dominant side. But to help me maneuver and then to add an accent, what I'm gonna do is a close slap with my non-dominant hand. And then with my dominant hand, I'm gonna do a close slap on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, After doing that close slap with my dominant hand on the conga, I'm gonna start moving to my non-dominant side with my non-dominant hand, and I'm going to do two opens on the tumba on my non-dominant side. So it's gonna sound like this. To kind of get the feel, putting it all together, it's gonna sound like this. Thank you. 
That beginning part is probably the most important part of this whole groove. It kind of establishes the feel, the accenting, just the motion in the ocean. Oh yeah. After doing those two opens on the tumba to your non-dominant side, this is kind of the tricky part. You're gonna have to quickly come to the conga with your non-dominant hand. You're gonna do kind of like a touch or a ghost note, or fingertip right here on the conga. And what that's going to do is it's going to help you kind of start like the opens that are gonna put everything together. So you're going to do one open after doing that little ghost note with your dominant hand. So it's gonna sound like this. After doing that open with your dominant hand, now you're gonna to go to your non-dominant hand and you're going to do a palm finger. Again, slightly, it's not gonna be, you know, them palm fingers that you do or heel tips that you do in salsa. It's not supposed to be so pronounced. It's not supposed to be so like dramatic. It's just supposed to accents. It's those little feels filling out those empty spaces. But after doing that base finger with your non-dominant hand, you're gonna go back with your dominant hand and do an open. So it's gonna sound like this. To just put this part together, it's gonna sound like this. It's crazy, man. Those little, those, those little moves, you gotta love them. So to put everything together up to this point, we're about to start going over, but I just want to kind of catch you guys up on this pattern, but it's gonna sound like this. Now, this is again a very crucial part because this is going to help you start the groove all over again. And it requires a lot of ghosting, a lot of fingertips and all this gushy stuff. But you, gotta, you just gotta love it. So after doing that open, what you're going to do with your non-dominant hand is you're going to do a bass and then a close slap with your dominant hand. But again, that bass is very subtle. It's not so pronounced, it's not so obvious, it's just, you're laying your hand there kind of. It's really meant to, again, fill in that empty space for the close slap that you're about to do. So to kind of put that together, it's gonna to sound like this. So after doing that close slap with your dominant hand, since your non-dominant hand is on the conga, you're going to do a ghost note little fingertip tap with your non-dominant hand. And then with your dominant hand, you're going to do another ghost note or fingertip tap there on the conga. And then with your non-dominant hand, that's when you do the close slap that what you did in the beginning, that close slap that you started with to kind of start the whole groove all over again. So to kind of show you that very, very slowly, it's gonna sound like this. Now to put it all together and play it in real time, just so you could see that you could barely tell those little ghost notes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop right after I kind of start all over again, just so you could see the beginning and end. So it's gonna sound like this. Seeing that in extra slow-mo must be crazy. You got to love it. Now to play the whole groove all the way through, it's gonna sound like this.
to count it. I'm gonna play it very slowly so you could catch where, you know, those hits must be, you know, those, those little grooves, those little counting points so you could follow all the way through. You gotta love it. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, It, man I'm just giving away secrets man I'm just giving away all these little secrets my goodness I'm gonna be left with nothing all jokes aside I really do hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you guys try it out it's something different it's something you know kind of out of the ordinary but you know that's the whole point we got to share what we love you gotta love it all right y'all I hope you guys enjoyed this video y'all already know what to do like subscribe and I'll see you guys on Thursday have a great day.